It's now time for some Python on hardware news. Don't forget, we're in the middle, or beginning, yeah. or the first stages <laughs> of our CircuitPython beta. So install it, break stuff, yes. try stuff, let us know. Okay, here's what we have in 6. We have ESP32 S2 beta support, and now it's beta. I want to clarify for people. It's like the ESP32 support, S2 is supported, but we're still learning stuff, breaking stuff, so, you know, it's not ready for, like, really intense project but like do try it out and give us feedback and bug reports so we can fix them also added some can uh library support and i think we fixed a whole bunch of bugs so yeah. uh quite a few things in 6 uh oh beta and i think we're going to be doing the next beta in the next week or so all right and then highlights from um the python on hardware newsletter go to adafruitdaily.com yeah. and sign up for python on hardware so as lady just said we got the beta 1 and beta 2 they were released within the last week get on that um, exactly what we expected, and it is here, and I've been able to tune into some of the things that I've been looking forward to. Yeah. CircuitPython programmable watch. Yeah, um, we've always wanted something yeah, like that. Yeah, so I think, you know, it's one of those things where when people see and use things like uh, Apple's watch, they like the idea of it, and then they're, and especially if they do electronics, they're like, well, I want to make something like that, because it's a bunch of different components. And um, yes, it's not going to be the... Apple Watch, but it's probably going to do all the things you want it to, but you'll, you'll want to learn how to, to make those things happen. You'll want to make interfaces, you want to be able to code it, you want to understand what it's doing. So uh, TG Techie is doing a really good job on this watch running CircuitPython, and like, it's already getting there. Like I've, I've had Kickstarters that were That's watches cool. that did not work out this yeah. way. So um, anyways, um, there's a Python developer survey 2020. Um, if you could, and you use CircuitPython, please fill out the survey and mention that you use CircuitPython. Um, you know, in 2019, that 24,000 people, um, over 150 countries. So if you make your voice heard about uh, how you're using Python on hardware now, I'm sure they would like to hear that. Um, so this is uh, all of the, um, the we just had uh, the show and tell yeah. with these projects. And so Mark the, came by and Yeah, so Mark showed this off. These are all the cool things that you can do. I, I said this, I think, on the show and tell, but one of the neat things is, um, you know, I, I used to do Java stuff and I did like Flash stuff. And the idea was you could do write once, run anywhere. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of cool projects that you can do with our hardware. And the CircuitPython code supportable, it just works in all those different places. Yeah. So this is a really good example of all these, you know, skull projects and more. Um, there's a KiCad 2020 Virtual Edition badge. It's and cool. Look at this. You can program it with CircuitPython. And it's built in KiCad. It's got SAMD21, USB-C, and CircuitPython. And look at that beautiful routing. Yeah. Really nice. Um, Scott's doing a deep dive tomorrow. Uh, we have a back-to-school update. You know, we have some virtual guides and things for kids. We understand school's a little weird, weird this year. Probably will continue to be so. But, um, you know, if you're interested in uh, helping kids get some computer science going, get a Circuit Playground Express, they start off with a make code, and then get them going on CircuitPython. Like, yeah. that's that's your best bet, and the kids that were on our show and tell, um, that's what they were doing. Um, one of the cool things this week was Unexpected Maker released their Feather S2. So if you like the SP32 S2, we're working on ones, everyone's working on ones. This is a super cool chip. It's Wi-Fi, it's from Espressive, and uh, it's in the Feather format which is what you like. That's right. So we got some other news that you can check out in the newsletter. Got feather wings, all sorts of like Python links. Yeah, so check it out. GPy guides. Um, we have 273 libraries right now, hundreds of boards. Um, every single week, the newsletter is jam-packed with everything. Check it out. We'll see you next week. Python on Harvard newsletter.